What's up everybody, Troll here. Today we are going to explore what is API Gateway and how you can write your own API Gateway. Of course, I will apply my favorite language, C Sharp, to build our API Gateway, but the general idea is language agnostic. You can easily integrate this general idea to any programming language that allow you to build your own microservices. By the way, API Gateway is not tightly coupled design parent to microservices. It is coupled to distributed systems. So you can apply API Gateway for your microservices and also for your service oriented architecture. So let's start with API Gateway and try to understand what is API Gateway. So this is our diagram here. We have two API Gateways. So you see we have five microservices here and I have two API Gateways. First API Gateway allows us to abstract from three microservices. The second API gateway allow us to abstract from two microservices. So in this case, I have users and I have microservices. The um, API gateway acts as a single entry point, acts as a mediator between our users and our microservices. When you create your microservice architecture, microservice application, you will end up with multiple microservices. And when you deploy your microservices, you will have different endpoints. That means for your microservices, you will have a lot of endpoints. Do you need to remember all of them? Of course not. You can easily configure the access to your microservices from your API gateway. It means user should reach to API gateway in order to reach to your microservices. So this API gateway somehow acts like an abstract architectural decorator over your microservices because we'll add a lot of interesting features functionalities to our API gateway. At the end, API gateway is a single entry point for your microservices, but that's not all. Using API gateway, we can easily integrate our cross-cutting concerns to our API gateway. It means you can easily write logging, authentication, authorization to your API gateway, you don't need to repeat all these cross-cutting concerns uh, for your microservices, okay? The other stuff here is when user wants some information from our API gateway, we mostly grab this information from more than one microservice. That means we can easily aggregate data from more than one microservices. So API gateway acts as a data aggregator, okay? This is one of the features of API API Gateway. And also using API Gateway, you can easily transform your data, not just aggregate your data, but also transform your data. Okay. So on Medium, I have really interesting tutorial understanding API Gateway is in microservices. And I have mentioned approximately all attributes of our API Gateway. For example, we have authentication, authorization, we have logging, we have aggregation, data transformation, we have load balancing functionality, we have rate limiting functionality. When you have um, microservices, you don't want to load one microservice, you want to separate requests to your microservices. And API Gateway can and act as a load balancer, okay? And also we have rate limiting. You don't want to reach your users uh, to the given microservices in a given period more than five times, let's say. In this case, you can easily configure rate limiting in your API gateway. And also API gateway is a good place to apply our fault tolerance attributes like you can integrate retries, circuit breaking, and timeouts. And also a small note that uh, API Gateway is not a silver bullet. In some cases, API Gateway may add additional complexity. And also I mentioned here, like you can use backend for frontend. So you can just check this tutorial and learn what is API Gateway. Now let's switch to the practical section. In our practice section, we have two microservices. It would be better to have at least two microservices to demonstrate the features and functionalities of our API gateway. In my case, I have account microservices and weather microservice. The weather microservice is similar like Microsoft generated weather forecast. This is completely same. And we have account microservice. I have slightly changed weather forecast to match for my account microservice here. So you see, this is a simple account. And here I have in my program CS, I have account endpoint. Uh, 
which generates account even i haven't changed <laughs> the name okay let's change it to accounts okay and here we are so we are retrieving account information okay cool now we have two microservices here and i will create a an api gateway to work with these two microservices so now let's right click on solution right click add new project and asp.net core web api new and this is going to be our uh api gateway okay the symbol let's call it just api gateway next i will not change anything here great that's cool now right right click set a startup project cool top you can easily implement your own api gateway from scratch but uh, on the internet we have really cool libraries that help us to build api gateways really fast because all sorts of api gateways they have really similar functionalities and one of the interesting and coolest i guess um libraries going to baba ocelot library so let's go to tools nugget package manager package manager console and here i will switch to api gateway and install package ocelot great let's hit enter and it should install ocelot library to our uh, project that's cool assault is an api gateway library it has built in features that we need to implement here that we mostly will implement for our api gateways okay it has rate limiting it has load balancing it has all sort of fault tolerance functionalities we mentioned you can easily integrate logging authentication authorization data aggregation data transformation all sort of functionalities you can easily integrate to your api gateway via using assault okay Cool. Now, what I'm planning to do, I'm just easily going to integrate all sorts of other microservices. You don't need to write all this stuff using C sharp language. We have really easy configurable Ocelot JSON. So let me right click at here and let's select maybe class that's also completely okay you don't even need to select the json file you can easily rename it as a lot that json and hit enter let's remove all this stuff and here we'll do our configuration this is a similar configuration like our app settings json okay and first attribute the first element here is going to be our roads the roads means here we are going to configure our microservices okay let's hit enter and roads roads is going to be an array of information because we'll provide more than one microservice here okay and we should specify our upstream information and downstream information upstream information is going to be our api gateway the downstream information is going to be our microservices because now our api gateway will act as an um, decorator architectural decorator over our uh, microservice okay let me specify first our um, downstream path template in my case i have account this is for my account microservice okay for downstream schema i will use https that's also cool and for downstream host and port uh if you why it is an array because you may have multiple instances of your microservice and that's why it is an array of information now we'll have only one single instance so i'm specifying the host it is going to be local host and let's specify our port i actually don't know what type of port we are using so let's go launch settings for the um, let's see https will use 7156 that's cool now let's use it great and we of course need to specify our upstream information it would be better maybe to specify it here okay so upstream path template i'm going to use gateway account okay and i will use upstream method for now i have http get only http get that's why i'm specifying http get verb verb here okay 
cool and the other stuff here is we have another road information that we need to configure our weather forecast so let me specify first upstream path template i will use gateway weather simple weather okay upstream method for me is going to be also get but depending from your requirements you can easily add get pause put delete etc okay so downstream path template in my case downstream path template is going to be weather forecast i hope yeah so downstream schema is https and the downstream host and port in my case it is local host and my port is going to be let's see our port ops sorry so the um, weather forecast properties launch settings and 7092 great let's copy and paste it here that's all that's all related to our api gateway now we have configured our api gateway from the configuration perspective but from the code perspective we need to open our program cs of course as you know in our classical implementation we should integrate our services our middleware stuff so same is applicable for us all it also okay what I'm going to do, I'm going to first specify that I need to read this assault information. So configuration dot add JSON assault dot JSON and here we are. So the case here is this is not optional and we need to reload it on change. Cool and builder services add assault great it is not this configuration of course cool and what else what else of course for the using assault we need to specify it like as a middleware so you can you can write like this wait or just simply await it with specifying async task okay that's cool let's reformat this and here we are that's our simple configuration for our solid and now we can easily run our application you don't need to remember the address of your microservices the endpoint addresses what i'm going to do the right click on solution go to properties and from these properties i'm going to run multiple startup projects here we have api gateway let's start it and start with account microservice and weather forecast let's just simply run it and let's wait and here we are this is our weather forecast and this is our api gateway so in my api gateway i have special endpoint let's call it so in ocelot let's go and here we have gateway weather okay let's go to gateway and weather you see this is our weather forecast and for the account i'm just simply going to generate account and this is my account so you see how it is easily integrate uh, your api gateway to your microservice environment using assault library of course we have a lot of different libraries but for me assault is going to be really cool for most of your needs okay and that's of course not all here in our api gate we mentioned that we have tons of interesting functionalities you can easily integrate to your uh, api gateway here what i'm going to do i'm going to specify rate limiting for my account and here after downstream host and port i'm going to specify rate limiting options rate limiting options is an object here you can simply see that we have client whitelist i don't want to whitelist in one i have enable rate limiting of course i'm enabling rate limiting i have period period time span and limit the limit is a number of query for example i don't want to receive more than four requests in one minute so i'm specifying four requests in about one minute 
here and period time span means after let's say blocking the user after notifying that we are not able to handle more than four requests how much should we wait for the next request when we should unlock the functionality to receive requests from user again so i want just wait uh, 15 seconds and after 15 seconds user will able to send request again this is only for our account okay now let's run it you can configure the different rate limiting for your weather endpoint also okay and here what i am going to do the gateway account you see one two three four and here we are so you see we have blocked our user and now the refresh will not work we should wait 15 seconds and after 15 seconds user will be able to send a request again so let's wait 15 seconds and here we are so you see we are able to see our um endpoint results again another interesting feature of api gateway is of course load balancer to demonstrate load balancer in practice i've just copied my account microservice and created account microservice too that's simply the same copy of account microservice with launch settings difference in my case uh, to differentiate my account with from my account microservice too i've just used different ports for my http and https so i'm just going to copy my 7158 in this case so let's go to our assault here and here you see we have only one local host information that that means we are hosting we are managing only one instance of account microservice i'm just going to create another local host information with the second instance of account microservice it means for the account microservice too now in this case we will be able to handle our two instances of account microservices via our api gateway and to configure figure our load balancer i'm just going to add some lines over my rate limiting options of course you can add it below that it doesn't matter so we'll use load balancer balancer options simply this so the type is going to be list connection what does list connection means list connection mean that when you have two instances of your microservice one of them let's say highly loaded the other one least loaded so the api gateway will forward the queries the upcoming queries to the least loaded connection okay and i really love in this case using round robin round robin special algorithm you can see this algorithm in apache kafka and different type of systems the round robin is the fair enough algorithm let's say so let's say you have two microservices the first request will come to microservice a the second for microservice b again microservice a b a b a b like this okay so in my case i'm just configuring my api gateway to separate uh, queries fairly between my uh instances okay and from the solution let's right click properties and here i've just configured that uh, we don't need to run our weather forecast we need to run our account microservice account microservice to an api gateway cool now let's just simply start our application and see if everything is working or not and also one simple fact that to differentiate our account from account two, I've just added simple line like string name account for my first account microservice and account two for my account to microservice. Okay, so let me open our um, API gateway. So when I hit enter, this should come to our account. So you see string name account and for the second time it should forward to account so, so you see we are easily forwarding and uh, queries between our microservices that's how easily you are able to manage load balancing rate limiting and managing via api gateway in your microservice applications well that's almost all if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe hit like button share and i'll see you in the next tutorials Bye.